Hello everyone and welcome to Soul Stained Ink. My name is Beth and this is yet another on my phone, no editing, no introduction, none of that uh, video. But I wanted to give you a quick update on my uh, Book A Day in May project that Elizabeth from Lizzie Faye loves books. And I look at this thing. Uh, Elizabeth from Lizzie Faye loves books and I have done book a day in May for several years and we kind of combined it with middle grade May, but we're not necessarily doing middle grade May this year. As I've said, um, I did, however, manage to read 10 books so far. So this is Sunday, May the 9th, and I have 10 books that I have read eight of them, eight of them are novellas and children's stories. But they all count for Book A Day in May. So I actually read, I think, four Gail Carriger um, novellas yesterday um, while I was packing. Because as most of you already know, uh, I have to be out of my house that I rent from the school by June 1st. I am still teaching here. I did sign my contract. Uh, they just have a lot of things they need to fix in the house. And I think they've got somebody who needed the house more than me, but I don't know. That is gossip tea and conjecture at this point. So shh, I didn't say anything. Um, however, I've been packing and packing and packing. Do you know how many books I own? Far too many books. Um, I do have all of my books packed now. I'm pretty proud of that. And stop that nonsense. She's mad because I packed her books too. Um, but we've, we've been packing and cleaning and doing all of that. Um, and while doing that, I've been listening to audiobooks. Uh, we've also been reading several children's books. So I had four Gal Carriger short stories, four picture books, cause we reread them a lot. And then two actual full length, like extra length novels. Uh, one of those was Ladies of the House, and I buddy read that with Fiona. It is a modern day retelling of Sense and Sensibility, and we both loved the modern retelling far more than we enjoyed Sense and Sensibility. So that was awesome. I highly suggest that you check that out. And the other complete novel I have finished so far is The Devil's Hand by Jack Carr, which is the fourth book in the Terminal List series. These are political thrillers featuring a Navy SEAL turned assassin, basically. Um, I've loved every last one of the books. And in fact, he commented on my Instagram post and was like, hey, book five comes out April 2022. So I have a countdown going already. I'm not going to lie. Um, this is a series that my boyfriend turned me on to and I ended up actually buddy reading all of them with him at one point or another, uh, except for this one. Because I had my surgery and apparently I read the whole thing the day of my surgery and I don't remember any of it. Uh, but I did go back and reread it and managed to finish it. Gave it four and a half stars. Loved it. Um, like I said, I'm really looking forward to the next one. I'm sorry I don't have anything to hold up for you and I don't have the ability to like put the, the pictures in. But like I said, I've been packing. So literally every physical book I read has been packed. I do have two physical books next to my bed that I am hoping to read in the next couple of weeks as we um, go through with all the moving stuff. The first one is Victoria Schwab's Bridge of Souls. And then the other one is Where World Book One Rise of the Wolf by Curtis Jobling. Um, my best friend got this one for me. Um, and then this is the special edition Bridge of Souls that Alcrate had. So I am really looking forward to reading those as well as Soulless by Gail Carriger, which I'm currently listening to on audio as I pack and clean. So those are my updates. I would love to hear from you guys. What is it that you are doing? Uh, what are you reading? Are you participating in Book A Day in May? All that jazz. So leave me a comment down below. Like, subscribe, all of that stuff. And I will talk to you again soon. Bye.